we have some pictures. And I want to hit the F9 key and randomly look up those pictures. Now, the formula we're going to use to randomly look up items works on anything, not just pictures. Because this new feature is only in beta in Microsoft 365, pictures, place and cell, this device. But here's how the formula works for randomly looking up anything. We're going to use the let function so we can define variables. Pick, that'll be for picture. Those are the pictures. We'll look and see if this is working using the variable. Control Enter, F2, it's working. We need to know how many rows, so we'll use the rows function and see how many pictures there are, comma, rows to check and see if the variable works. We have eight rows. We need eight random numbers. We'll call that variable rand. We're going to use rand array. How many rows? We'll use the rows variable. We'll check and see if this gives what we want. If I hit the F9 key, I am definitely randomly generating a number between 0 and 1. I want to sort this, so F2. This will be the formula that we deliver, so I'm just going to sort that. Control Enter, F9. The smallest ones are always coming out on top. Now we can look up this sorted range as the lookup values and look into the original unsorted array, F2. And we're going to use the lookup function xmatch. It's going to look up these sorted values, comma, the lookup array. That's the original random numbers. This will deliver the positions of each number. So right now, if I hit F9, we have randomized positional numbers. So the very first picture is going to end up here, the second one down here. But when I hit F9, now the first one appears up here. We have a random list of eight positions, F2. So we simply put that into index. The array, that's what we're looking up, comma. The row number, there they are. There's our formula, Control-Enter. If I hit F9, randomly looking up pictures or anything you might want. If I add some Alt-Enters, that's our formula. Pick, rows, rand, and then index, match, and sort. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.